What's up, man? Today's first order of business is to make sure y'all go like this video. People have been asking me about how you actually make money in stocks. So you got something called unrealized gains and unrealized losses. When you first buy a stock, over time, it appreciates or depreciates value. Until you actually sell that stock, you don't lock in that profit or loss. It's like when you go buy a pair of bread ones, some Jordans for retail, you get them from the mall when they first drop for 180. Street value, people paying like 380. But you ain't sold yours yet. You just see your homeboys selling theirs, so they locking in that 200. So you can hold on to them for a little bit longer. They might go for 480. So now you got an unrealized profit of 300. So you go sell it. Then you make that 300. That's when you lock in that profit. Same thing with stock. If you're shooting dice and say, say you got 100 in the bank, you hitting everybody, you hitting everybody. Now you got 600 in the bank. You just came up 500, but that's unrealized profits. So until you see low, where you can pull money out, you are not getting none of that profit. See what I'm saying? It's the same thing with stocks. You don't lock in profit until you actually sell the asset, the stock. All right, so boom, I need y'all to work with me today because I'm recording this video on my iPhone 8. Since my 11, I got to use the screen record so I can show y'all how to execute a trade on Robinhood. It's that top dog flow. Say he too meat to get a meal. Meanwhile, all y'all bro. Remember times was different. And have a pot to piss it. Now I start and wrist it. Neck and wrist, dripping like a lot of dishes. I told my family we gon' make it. Shay the only one that listen. Project baby, all my role models in the penitentiary. You was blind to the streets. I had you wanting it like Steven. Try covering your eyes. I never wanted you to see me. Pat came, I broke it down. It's too loud to keep it secret. See the envy in their eyes. It ain't hard for me to read them. Uh, came up from poverty. My niggas doing robberies. Got his like Apollo Creed. I know my mama proud of me. Uh, big homie moving keys. The younger niggas selling weed. C12, we never freeze. The hood be hot like air season see niggas die young and roddy rich can't help them breathe dying to live i ain't no average i'm a different breed short nigga heart bigger like i'm seven feet y'all mean i been balling like i'm overseas can't get an answer God, I don't know. Start from the beginning. We're gonna start screen recording. You know that's my brother right there, Cat Kelly. We're going to the lead baby. We're gonna go into Robin Hood. What you wanna do? Choose the stock or ETF that you want to buy. I was reading about this one last night, so uh I'm gonna start doing like 10, 15, 20 months, something like that. Cause this is something long term that I'm gonna hold like forever type stuff. I don't want to buy a full share. So I'm gonna click up here, top right, click share. I want to buy a dollar. So I got, it's telling you how much you got available. So I'm gonna go like 20. Review, telling you how many fractional shares you get of that. Swipe up. You click done. So you scroll down and you see your market value, the amount of shares, your average cost, today's return, total return. Those, those, those are those unrealized gains that I was telling you about. Until I sell something, until I sell this, I have not received any of this money, nor have I lost any of this money. You scroll down, it's showing you a bunch of stuff that a lot of technical people care about. Unless something is alarming on this, in these stats, I'm not really too concerned. You keep scrolling, it'll show you the history of what you've done. So I just did a market buy for $20. That means that I bought it for 
twenty dollars or whatever it was priced at. You would I could have did a limit purchase, but I would have had to get like a full share. And how it was priced at two twenty three seventy eight, I would have put in like I don't want to buy over two twenty four. I don't want to buy until it drops to two fifteen something like that. So it's showing you some a description about the ETF. And ETF is a basket of stocks. We'll just leave it at that. If I go back and I look at, say, this other one that I have, same thing. This is replicating, an ETF replicating or tracking the S&P 500 index. Showing my history. This is the stock, the ETF that I'm using in the challenge in one of my previous videos. I put the link down to that. So I'm going to do an update on that come probably Monday because uh, that's when I'll get those cash rewards that I talked about in the video. And this also a description. So after I made that purchase, I click on this and it's showing me my history with that. That's it. As simple as it is. And if you want to sell, you just click sell instead of buy. Appreciate y'all thugging through that horrific sound quality from the eight. I probably can't never record another video with that. But make sure y'all like and subscribe. Send it to a friend, all that good stuff. If you got any questions about why I chose that specific ETF, then comment down below or message me or text me, whatever. Uh, message me on Instagram, wherever you got me at. And I mean, I'll talk to you more about it or I might do a video on it soon, but we'll see. Make sure y'all get blizzy. Today is Friday, so get super blizzy.